The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're having a look at the new ETEC G2 115 horsepower HO, a new outboard just introduced by Evan Rood. This 1.9 liter engine is a two stroke with three cylinders and direct in the cylinder fuel injection. This is an HO or high output model, so the Society of Automotive Engineers lets it generate up to 10% more horsepower. This one produces around 126 horsepower. Because it's built with an all new two stroke three cylinder powerhead, this upward weighs in at just 390 pounds. Just as important, Evernote has brought the remarkable features of its big block outboards all the way down to its 115 HO. Digital control, eye trim, direct in-cylinder fuel injection, a no-hassle internal oiling system, and an advanced gear lube system are just a few of the features. Our test boat had the low-cost option of Evernote's dynamic internal power steering. The power steering pump is integrated into the mounting bracket. This is a major advancement in outboard engine design and an industry first, making installation and repower much easier and less costly. Because Evinrude's dynamic power steering system is all internal, there are no hydraulic pumps and oil reservoirs that must be installed inside the boat in cramped places, with hoses running to the steering system. The outboard is a thin tube, tilt tube for use with anti-feedback cable steering. It can also be used with bolt-on external hydraulic steering. On the boats we tested, the system gave 100% feel for the boat and each turn of the wheel caused the boat to react immediately. Helical worm gears over worm gears make for integrated power steering that gives excellent response. Evernerd's dynamic steering lets the owner set the field of the steering as the boat moves from low to high speed through the helm dash control or the icon touch display. A dual axis rigging tube is fitted to the mounting bracket and stays put, allowing the engines to rotate independently, putting less wear and tear on components. There are no hydraulic steering hoses coming from the boat, providing a cleaner transom. This pin can be inserted to immobilize the steering to keep the outboard from flopping to one side when it's raised for trailering. The new ETEC G2 outboards tilt to get the entire lower unit completely out of the water, key for longevity in the marine environment. Evernerd included the iTrim automatic trim system in these outboards, helping the boat perform the way it should even with a novice at the wheel. Only Evinrude offers this valuable feature in class, and it comes standard. All Evinrude 115 horsepower engines come standard with digital throttle and shift, while most other engine controls in class are still mechanical. At the heart of the new 115HO is Evinrude's direct injection fuel system. It's unlike any other system in class for two reasons. First, the injector is actually in the cylinder head and not in the intake manifold like it is in four-stroke engines. At low RPM, only a small amount of fuel, like champagne bubbles, according to Evinrud, is injected into the smaller top section of the cylinder. This small charge is ignited immediately as the fuel passes the spark plug. This is called stratified combustion, and it uses less fuel for more efficiency and cleaner operation. This is a big reason why the new 115 horsepower HO is so much more fuel efficient at 1000 RPM and trolling speeds than four-stroke engines. They can't have stratified combustion. At high RPM, the engine switches to what's known as homogeneous combustion and more fuel is injected to the whole cylinder using full bore and stroke to produce excellent mid and high RPM range torque and power. The amount of charge and its cone shape is variable depending on throttle setting, load, RPM, altitude and other factors for efficient combustion and optimum power. Even at wide open throttle, Evinrude's new G2 three cylinder engine is more fuel efficient than four cylinder four strokes. The chart seen here was provided by Evinrude's testing lab, which uses industry standard testing procedures to produce these fuel consumption figures. Note that the new Evinrude engine is from 8 to 15% more fuel efficient than four strokes. Because in a two stroke engine, every stroke is a power stroke, even the three cylinder Evinrude 115 horsepower has 33% more combustion than a four cylinder four stroke engine. And that produces more torque, something that all small boats need to quickly and safely get on plane. As could be seen with these figures provided to us by Evinrude's testing lab using a dyno and standard industry testing procedures at 2500 RPM, just where all boats need max torque to get over the hump and on plane, the three-cylinder Evinrude 115 two-stroke engine has 294 foot-pounds of torque and the other engines have from 24 to 29% less. At peak torque for each engine from 3500 to 4000 RPM, the Evinrude three-cylinder engine generates 322 foot-pounds and the others have from 21 to 25 percent less torque. That torque gets the bow down faster and allows for Evinrude powered boats to stay on plane at lower speeds for better efficiency. 
there are other important features to the new Evernote engine. One is the onboard oil reservoir, which holds 1.9 gallons. That oil will last for 50 to 60 hours of engine runtime, a whole season for most boaters, and usually it's even longer for low rev pontoon boats, which spend about 60% of their time under 1,000 RPM. If oil is needed, just take off the lightweight top cowl and easily fill as needed. Oil is not mixed with the fuel. Instead, lubrication is its own completely separate system, sending carefully metered amount of oil through tubes to bathe the cylinder walls in clean oil as needed. Four-stroke engines are lubricated with recirculated oil, which becomes increasingly contaminated as time goes on and must be changed every 50 to 100 hours. The Evernote engine never needs oil changes and its oil is always clean, reducing the chance for cylinder wear. The new Revenue E-Tech G2115HO needs no break-in period. Four-stroke engines permit only limited revs for the first few hours, because Evernote's EMM simply double oils the cylinders for the first two and a half hours of operation. A tiny amount of oil is burned in combustion, and because it's added to the exhaust, it's included in the emissions of the outboard. The Evernote outboards are already the lowest emission outboard available, but more important are carbon monoxide emissions, and only Evernerds are below lethal limits, as these Evernerd industry standard lab tests indicate. Yet another feature of the Evernerd oiling system is automatic winterization. The engine can be readied for off-season storage with the tap of the Evernerd iTouch display or the BRP eLink smartphone app while the engine is running, hooked up to fresh water, or at the launch ramp in fresh water. This means that owners can winterize their own engines without the cost and hassle of taking the engine back to the dealer. Water in the lower unit gear case oil, shown draining here, is a major cause of engine failure. This happens for two reasons. Either the oil level is low on the lower unit, allowing condensation to contaminate the oil, or its seal is compromised, sometimes due to fishing line wrapped around the propeller, which can also let water in when the oil gets hot and expands, pushing out the weakened seal. Evernote has solved both of those issues with an expansion tank for gear oil, which means the gear case is always topped up with lube oil, and when it heats up, the hot oil has a place to go instead of blowing out the seal. Evernerd uses an Ultra HPF gear fluid, which can continue to lubricate even after it's contaminated by up to 25% of its volume with water. The upward runs on 87 octane fuel, which also has an internal fuel filter that functions as a fuel water separator. There's no need for an external fuel filter and the water detector notifies the owner if the fuel is contaminated. On the top of the engine under this black cover is a magneto, which uses simple coils and magnets under the flywheel instead of an alternator. It has fewer parts and there are no pulleys, belts, or brushes to wear out or break. The magneto produces 50 amps of electricity. To isolate this three-cylinder engine from the boat, Evernote has designed a three-point focused motor mounting system with bushings that counteract vibration and keep it from moving on to the transom. One other feature that's been added, top to bottom in the E-Tech G2 line, the engines are now available with a white exoskeleton to color match more boats out there. And like other E-Tech G2 outboards, the side and top panels can be color matched to the boat with a wide variety of colors available. This is the same Zodiac Open 5.5 with silver side skins and a new top panel added. All the performance we saw in our tests, from quick acceleration to top end performance, doesn't mean anything if the engine doesn't hold up in the marine environment. This all new engine is ready for both fresh and salt water. Evernerd is the only outboard maker that uses expensive titanium oxide to electrostatically coat all aluminum parts that are exposed to water. The National Technical Information Service rates titanium at a zero corrosion rate, and that's why it's used in saltwater commercial drilling and underwater pipes. Only Evernerd alone gives a five-year anti-corrosion warranty. The high-grade aluminum block is coated with epoxy, and all metal fastenings are stainless steel. And this outboard has the largest anodes we've ever seen to protect the engine and marinas with stray current. Evernerd stands by the outboards with a five-year corrosion warranty that's at least a year longer and more inclusive than any other outboard warranty, and we've checked them all. So that's our inspection and review of the all-new Evernerd E-Tech G2-115HO, one of the latest additions to this series of technologically advanced direct-injected two-stroke outboards. Keep an eye out for tests of boats powered with this engine and reviews of her three-cylinder stablemates. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.